So as soon as I came back to Pune in 2003, he said that we are setting up a small children's science centre uh, as part of a yoga. We offer a PhD but, uh, in astronomy and astrophysics, but we must invest in children. This is enlightened self-interest. Tomorrow if you want good scientists, good PhD students, we have to invest in them right now. We imbue them with the love of science. So that's how he wrote me and he said you are a house to live in the university. So that was very nice. I spent 11 years there until 2014. We had one room, 400 square feet, and two colleagues, very amazing colleagues, wonderful colleagues. One is Dr. Vidala Meister, she was at Stanford, post of four years in Stanford, came back. Another great chap, Ashok Rupe, from a village very close to Anlasa Bazari's village, so Rudi is his village. Two colleagues, 400 square foot, and it was really a, a kind of model center, uh, though in, in a government setup, but uh, extremely great. Every day a new toy, every day documenting. Uh, more than creating, we were the best clerks of our times, we were documenting things. Like you are doing this film, 2005, six, very young boy. I've just come back from England. UNICEF had sent me to 50 schools in England and I just returned back. And the young boy that did his architecture and he came and showed me a film that said I made a school. You know, he constructed a school with his own hands. So I was quite amazed. I said, you know, films meet, meet a lot of money and where do you get your grants from? He said, no sir, I have a small camera and you can take clips with this, read them and uh, there is a movie maker and you can give sound. Half an hour, and I said, This is amazing. I just come back from England with a small camera, and that's it. Every day we made a film, but today we have 1100 videos in English, and they've been cross it, dubbed into many, many languages. So we're close to 8600 on YouTube. There was a time we were the largest contributors to YouTube from India. A small center, three people, not commercial at all. and. Uh, a lot of uh, viewership of these. Uh, sound was given by 150 rupee you know, microscope. We had no professional equipment. But uh, great ideas and documenting them and doing it just now won't keep it abeyance. Maybe it's not the best. It doesn't matter. There's nothing available for you. At least <laughs> pass the argument. Very amazing work. But I don't think those are the. When I look back, uh, those 11 years were the most creative years. And you are able to do create if it's only a focused team. Individually, I could do only this much and not too much, not too more, because there is a limit to it. But with a small team, very focused team, you can do great work. So, the YouTube channel. Then I started uh, uh, putting books online. I started with my books that keep kept scanning. Today we have about 9,500 books. Great books, books on education, books on the environment, books in Hindi, I don't know Telugu, I don't know Tamil, but you find in all Indian languages. I know what the book is, I can't read Tamil. The books in Gujarati, lots in Marathi, Marathi is like the Hindi, Devnagri, so I can read Marathi. Could you just see the hunger amongst the people? Every day, 10, 12,000 books are downloaded. I may be sitting over here, I can relax now because it's there for all of humanity, for all times. Uh, a few months back, 90 million people had seen the videos, though we not me. Then in 2000, uh, 2007, uh, not seven, 2012, uh, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Just a routine doctor, the daughter is a doctor, she would, she would say, you please go and get your annual medical checkup done. And uh, so in one of the tests, uh, the PSA, cancer marker, it's a blood test, it was high. So I underwent 42 rounds of radiotherapy, and God's grace, it's been seven years. Uh, that's when, you know, uh, uh, radiotherapy takes its toll, and we become very popular, so everyone would gravitate. In our small centre, we had 25 fellows of the Royal Society, uh, two, three Nobel laureates. <laughs> so anyone who was anybody would come to a small centre. 2012, in the routine checkup, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, underwent 42 rounds of radiotherapy. 
you know, radiotherapy takes its toll. There was a lot of rush. Many people would come and see us. And I feel very tired. So then I decided that uh, I would just quit Ayuka. I gave them two years. That I worked for two more years, but I have a medical condition. So I worked for two more years and I told them to. December 2014, I quit Ayuka. That's what I did. And uh, I said, I have many more things to do. One is that uh, then for two years in Pune, I was translating a lot of books. There's some very, I made a list of 25 books, which I would translate into Hindi. And not word to word, because no one has the time to read 200 pages today. But this idea is amazing, you must share this. So I would read the book once, twice, internalize it completely. And then rewrite 30 pages, 25 pages. Make it very accessible, very easy for people to read and understand the core of it. So it's an intellectual exercise. And on a book like that, there's no copyrights, because it's your own stuff. No words you've taken. So I did this for about 20 books. I liked it very much because I would have to understand. You were not a background reading to put this very simply. And put this all, I'm not interested in publishing. Put this all online. And uh, also kept doing children's books. The Puna they become quite well known. So every day some school would invite me for a workshop. And uh, then 2017. January, my daughter, my, my wife retired from Ferguson College. The next month, February 2017, uh, grandson was born in Chennai. So, daughter was doing a DM in neurology and she would go one day, come back the next day. Very tough routine. So, we both shifted to Chennai to take care of her little baby. One thing very nice which happened in Chennai, which I always wanted to do, was to translate a lot of children's books into Hindi. I could never find the time in Pune. But the anonymity of a, of a megapolis like Chennai, uh, where no, no one knew me, so I would not be invited to schools so or inaugurate this or do that. <laughs> so I was quite free then. <laughs> so my target was a book a day. You would do a book a day. And uh, often we missed the target. In two days, a book. But today we are finished 825 books into Hindi. And uh, therefore, 200 have come into Marathi, in Tamil, in Telugu, some in Kannada. Four or five languages, we had friends who translated them. But these are amazing books of peace, and some of the best books in the world. Uh, the publishers are not interested in books like that. Uh, but the children are there's such amazing illustrations, and put them online for free. There are, you know, Hindi is a very large populace. Two, three months back, figures came out that the largest spoken language in the world is English, second is Mandarin, Chinese, the third is Hindi. 60 crore people, uh, 600 million people speak Hindi. Very large, very limited. So, this is one thing which I make me very happy every day. And I don't need any money for that, I don't need an organization for that. And I keep sending these books in forward. Telugu translators, Tamil. You know, what I do, I make a PPT out of it. And the PPT is in Hindi. Now, all the things that you do in Google Translate in Tamil, replace the Hindi with the Tamil and save as, and you have a Tamil copy, and you have a Marathi copy. Very pedestrian technique, nothing very uh, great. But we have had some 1300 books into the recent languages. So, this has been my current work for three years. And now, my son in law has been transferred to Pune. And they will join me. So just two, two days back, I came to Pune. That very day, I came to Mumbai for this. So this is my story in short. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.